What is going on guys and today we're going to be replacing the air suspension of 2010 E71 which is X6 plus this is X6M but it's going to be same as on E70, E71, super simple. For that job we're going to need 10 mil flat nut wrench, flat head screwdriver, utility knife and pliers. All the steps and the tools going to be in the description below as well. Check it out the timeline. It's going to be the timestamp so you can navigate easily. But with no further ado, let's get to the step number one. So in the step one, we simply need to disconnect the battery, which is the negative terminal, which is going to be inside of the trunk under the a little shelf, also protected by a little plastic, uh, same as on a E70 and E71. Then we need to jack it up the car, ideally from the both sides. Put the jack stands underneath of the car to protect yourself uh, because we're going to be uh, going under car in the later steps. In the step number two, we need to remove the wheels. If they are really snug, you can hit them with an angle of 45 degrees. Uh, you can use the rubber hammer, uh, you can use brick of wood and you can use your leg. After you can cut open the air balloon, which is the air spring and release the remaining of the air inside of the balloon. In the step three, we're going under the car. At the bottom of the air spring, we have the lower mount. You can use pliers or the pin tool to release uh, the tension from the uh, clip. It shouldn't be any tough, but if you have extra pair of hands, as you can see here, my friend was under the car. He was squeezing that a uh, little plastic tops and I was at the top and simply use the flat head screwdriver and pop it out the lower portion of the air spring. After the lower portion is free, now we can start working with the upper portion of the air spring. Simply turn the spring counterclockwise and it's gonna be approximately from 50 to 60 degrees turn and then you're gonna pop it out the whole assembly. Which is, be careful with the air line. At the passenger side, it's gonna be the blue line. At the driver side, it's gonna be the red line. It also connected to the body through the pin, so you wanna disconnect that first and then squeeze it out the air balloon. After you take it out, you need to undo 10 mil nut from the air spring and a 50% job is done. The next step is gonna be removing the copper ring from the air line as well as the nut. You can throw it away, we're not gonna need it because the new one have everything what we need on it. Little note, keep the rubber boot on the line. You can remove it to clean it but then install it back and then we're gonna start the assembling. Okay, we got our new assembly, which just came from the Arnold rear air springs. You can get those guys from the FCP Euro. They have lifetime warranty, so you're not gonna be worried about any type of issue that's gonna happen down the road. Get back to the installation, which is gonna be the step four. Get a new spring and remove the white pin from the nut. Then fish the line through the opening into the air fitting unit. Make sure it's seated right. So you have to use a little bit of force to install it and then try to pull it back to make sure it's seated correctly. And voila, the step five is a little tricky one. Put the whole unit back onto the spot and in blind, you have to lock the top mount by turning it clockwise. You gotta hunt for the actual spot so you probably wanted to wiggle from the right to the left, make sure it's seated correctly and then turn it clockwise. If the top is locked, simply pull the bottom portion of the air spring and lock it in place. After all of those steps, pop the wheels back and lower car slightly. Basically, maintain the default uh, level or the suspension play. And the only thing is not to drop the car completely onto the suspension because you can punch the hole in new air suspension air springs. That's why you have to keep the car on a jack. And to be sure, I fit in my hand right in between of the wheel and the body of the car. So in that case, the car is not too low. This is not the best measurement, but you just wanted to keep the car a little bit uh, jacked up and then just pop the battery back and wait till the pump gonna start praying. After a couple minutes, whenever the system gonna be filled up with the air, you can lower the jack stands completely and then try to drive the car. After all, if the car it did not self-level, there gonna be the separate video how to level the car. But with that, we pretty much done how to replace the air suspension on the E70 or E71. Anyway guys, if you like the video, please put the thumbs up button there, subscribe my channel and leave a comment below. I'll see you next one.